Good morning. So today is June 26th out here at the farm plot and we're doing a plant health check and uh, I'm going to be doing some garden maintenance today. We're going to be working on some of these rows as well as uh, putting some trellises up for our watermelon. And uh, so we're going to go through with a quick health check. Um, I've applied Regenesis, which is a biostimulant uh, from Regenitech twice in the last 15 days. We've had rain once. I think uh, my rain gauge said we got about a half an inch of rain out here and um, at that same time we did some reseeding as well. Uh, it was very very late for reseeding but I wanted to see how the regenesis worked with, um, with initial seeding. Um, so we put some late stuff in and um, we're going to see how well it catches up but with approximately one to two ounces of regenesis per treatment at the base of each plant. Um, this corn wasn't put in, I don't think, until about June 1st, and I'm already knee high. And in Indiana, that's um, it's not pretty common, especially seeing that this seed was two years old. Um, so the viability was severely cut, and it was not not very high grade seed at all. Um, but our plant health here in corn looks amazing. Our new starts look amazing. Um, I think this might actually work out pretty well for us. Uh, tomatoes, beans, everything here has gotten pretty vibrant. Even the flowers are, are jumping right out. Um, pepper production, we've already uh, had an initial harvest out here of two pounds. Um, and that was just uh, king fruit production. Now we're getting our main sets in. And uh, I'm going to keep going with the Regenesis probably at least once every two weeks. At this point, the only application of fertilizers that have been put on this ground is um, one gallon of fish emulsion at 511, and that was rated out to do the whole 4,000 square feet. So we don't do heavy applications here of pretty much anything. Uh, the only things that have been used out here is the fish emulsion and um, the regenesis. Even our onions are standing straight up tall, which is, is not typically the case out here. Usually the ground here is a little warm. Um, red cabbage is looking amazing. Um, very low insect pressures for this time of year. Typically it's quite a bit higher. And um, I'm really impressed with how things are working out this year and definitely thinking about scaling up some things in the future. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you again soon.